As many of you are no doubt aware, I do not publicly show the likes and dislikes for my videos. This is now one of my default upload settings. Needless to say, some self-entitled pricks have posted the occasional comment asking me to publicly share these statistics or turn them on. Many of them were honestly quite obnoxious about it. Many have asked why I disabled the statistic, and today, I'd like to answer that question for everyone who asks it all at once. What's up guys, Acerthorn here, and welcome to another video on this channel. Now before I give this explanation, I'd like to ask each of you one thing. Why do you care so much about seeing the likes and dislikes? Why exactly is it so damn important for you to be able to see these likes and dislikes? For the record, I still get the likes and dislikes that you leave. As you can see from this screenshot, I still get likes and dislikes on my videos. The only thing I have disabled is your ability to see exactly how many likes or dislikes a video has. So please ask yourself, why exactly that matters so much to you? I'd like you guys to let that question simmer while I discuss why I disabled them for my channel, and I'll come back to it later. Now the biggest reason why I have disabled public viewing of my links and dislinks is because I see it as a completely redundant statistic. Long story short, the dislike button doesn't tell me anything useful. It doesn't provide me with any feedback because it is entirely devoid of any context. How am I supposed to improve my content in the future if you don't tell me why exactly you don't like my content today? The video that ultimately drove me to turn off the public's ability to see my likes and dislikes was this one. Wind Waker sucks and here's why. As I promoted this video on Reddit, I got quite a lot of venomous hate from the game's many, many fans. That was not anything new. However, there are multiple subreddits dedicated to the Zelda franchise. One of them, simply called RZelda, does not allow self-promotion on Sundays, which sucks for me since that was the day that the video was published. So I had to wait until the next day before I posted the video in that subreddit. This guy right here saw my posts in both subreddits, and there's one line in his comment that, in my opinion, really shows the true colors behind these people. We don't want your negativity about a game we like. And there, ladies and gentlemen, lies the true crux of the issue. As you can see from this comment thread from a different subreddit, people seem to think that the like to dislike ratio provides an objective, impartial assessment of the overall quality of my video. However, nothing could be further from the truth. It is clear that people dislike a video simply because they disagree with the opinions expressed therein, not because it is an objectively low-quality video. At the end of the day, that's all the like-to-dislike ratio really boils down to. Leaving a dislike just means you don't like me, but either you didn't watch the video at all and based your dislike solely on the title, or you actually watched the video, but try as you might, you couldn't find anything actually wrong with the video other than the occasional, mostly semantic whoopsie that didn't actually detract from the overall assessment of the game. But of course, heaven forbid you actually concede that I might have raised some valid criticisms about the game that you like. So instead, you just leave a dislike instead of a well thought out comment so you can still tell me how much I suck without having to actually work your brain muscles. Because people are dicks. And you know what? The people who work at YouTube are indeed aware that this system can be abused by trolls in this way. The people who work at YouTube have publicly addressed the concerns from creators like myself about abusive dislikes. Here, have a listen. Dislike mobs? 
So this is where a group of people will go to a video, not even watch the video, and just purposely hit the thumbs down. So as you can clearly see, YouTube is very much privy to the dislike system's susceptibility for abuse. It is for this reason why they have purposefully set the YouTube algorithm to promote videos the more dislikes they get. Yeah, about three and a half years ago, Mr. Beast, the YouTube juggernaut, did a controlled experiment. I'll post a link to this experiment in the description of this video. He demonstrated that a video that gets disliked is more likely to be promoted in search results over a video that gets no like or dislike whatsoever, all else being equal. Now, some of you might understandably wonder, why would YouTube do that? Why would they promote videos in the algorithm that people hate? Well, bear in mind that YouTube is meant to be a platform for free expression. It's stated in, in their community guidelines that their services are platforms for free expression. And YouTube CEO Susan Wash... Wajsicki steadfastly defended this policy of theirs in a recent interview with 60 Minutes. So I'd like to ask all of you, can YouTube ever truly realize their ideal of being a platform for free expression if they allowed a handful of hyper-passionate trolls to effectively sabotage a YouTube creator's growth and success on the platform with absolutely no context or justification simply because that creator expressed a dissenting opinion? The answer is no, they cannot. So in furtherance of that agenda, YouTube has made the conscious choice to algorithmically promote videos that get a lot of dislikes. This is by design, and YouTube isn't about to get rid of this feature of their algorithm anytime soon. So now, I would like to return to the question I asked earlier in this video. Why do you care so much about me turning on the likes and dislikes for my video? Me turning them off doesn't prevent you from leaving a like or a dislike. Even if it did, you leaving a dislike only promotes my video even more. So why do you care so much? Not just about leaving a dislike, but just seeing how many dislikes a video has. What benefit do you actually get from that? Well, I can only think of one thing you might actually get out of such a feature. Personal self-vindication. You see a video like this one, where the title of the video expresses an opinion you disagree with. You just want to see how many dislikes the video has, so you can look at the like to dislike ratio and just go, Aha! See the number of dislikes this video has? Just goes to show how your opinion is objectively wrong. Even though there is no such thing as an objectively wrong opinion, yours is still objectively wrong. Well, I'm sorry, but I am not giving you that satisfaction. If the only reason you don't like the content I produce is because I'm expressing an opinion that you disagree with, then you can fuck off. If you want to find some kind of fault with my opinion, you can watch the video and actually find something, hopefully something more than just semantic imperfections, to give a rebuttal argument against. I put a lot of effort into my videos, so I don't think I'm being unfair by asking you to put some effort into showing me why my content is not to your standards. If you can't do that, then you can just move on to the next video on YouTube that will regurgitate your opinions back at you without ever requiring you to challenge or rethink your own opinions. There are 31 million different YouTube channels on the site at the moment, and if you can't find one of them that will fill your demands of just regurgitating your own biased opinions back at you verbatim, with no challenge or critical thinking, 
then I suppose you really are just impossible to please trolls who want nothing more than to shit on content creators for its own sake. At that point, get the fuck out of my sight. So now, ladies and gentlemen, you understand why I have set my channel up so that you can no longer see the likes and dislikes that one of my videos has. I'm not going to change it, or rather, if I do change it in the future, it'll be for my own reasons, not simply because people want to be able to use it to bash my content without having to actually watch the content. And with that, I bid you all adieu. Acer Thorn out. Peace!